Thank you. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy being celebrated today across the nation. He would have turned 94 this year. This morning, Lexington hosted its 50th annual MLK March downtown, where it drew in many prominent local leaders, as well as Governor Bashir. Our Danielle Miskell joined the marchers and has our top story. From the very front of the line all the way to the back, I spoke with so many Lexingtonians about the reasons they were marching for MLK Day. And there was one word that they repeatedly used. It was because they were trying to spread the message of unity. It's a march that continues in the footsteps of what Dr. King started nearly 60 years ago. Dr. King demonstrated the true meaning of nonviolence and many more powerful messages. Yeah, unity. Uh, together, stay strong and stay free. Inspiring many organizations with a model to live by. A lot of those dreams that he wanted for us, uh, organizations like ourselves and many others, are following those to make Lexington a better community. So we're hoping that we're making him proud. To see Lexingtonians coming together for a, a common good and remembering the legacy of Dr. King and just paying it forward. Families march together. I just wanted to share this moment with my family and the community, show them the importance of unity and the pavement, the, ro the roads that have been paved before us is really important to us. And sharing the experience of Dr. King's movement with his son. We celebrate how he was um, someone who stood up for peace and this was Governor Bashir's ninth year coming to march in Lexington, alongside many other elected officials. Walking arm in arm, uh, pledging to create that better world that Dr. King talked about, uh, fighting for the inches to become the yards, to become the miles of progress. We can't really make real change in this city unless we bring all voices to the table. And this march was one of many events that Lexington hosted today. God's Food Pantry, the Hope Center, and Habitat for Humanity also had local volunteering opportunities to honor the memory and legacy of Dr. King. Reporting in Lexington, I'm Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News. Also on the front lines of the MLK March was Divine Karama with One Lexington. Karama was volunteer, also volunteered to help the community by picking up trash in neighborhoods as a way to commemorate Dr. King. He also encouraged people to wear orange today, and many were seen in that color during the march to convey a message close to Dr. King's. Just trying to keep the message of stopping the gun violence, um, remembering those that we've lost, um, but then also keeping it in the forefront of people's minds and understanding that this fight is going to continue. It took us a long time to get here. It's going to take us a long way to get back to where we need to be. And so we just wanted to take this opportunity um, to acknowledge MLK, um, his tethered, um, multi-layered legacy, and peace was definitely a part of that. One Lexington has a four-year plan in motion to reduce gun violence in the city. King Day.